Hello, and welcome to the latest video of my Wargaming Group's ongoing support of King's Campaign. In this video, I'll do a brief overview of the battles that occurred during the third turn, as well as discuss the special events and revenue collection for the beginning of the fourth turn. The battle phase of the winter months opened with the Second Battle of Scotland, as England re-entered the territory with the hopes of regaining influence and in putting down the rebellion. The English were victorious, though they were unable to crush the rebels and force them to capitulate. Both armies lost one SP each, and England was able to co-occupy the territory. The next battle occurred in Hanover, as Austria attempted to put pressure on England. England's small garrison was aided by three SP of Swedish troops that just happened to land there earlier in the month. Heavy snows hampered the Austrian assault, as the snows did everywhere throughout the season and they were unable to drive the English from the territory. Sweden and Austria both lost one SP, the former retreated into Prussia, while the latter retired back into Westphalia. The third battle occurred in New England, where once again heavy snows made a large impact on the outcome of the battle. The French ran out of time and supplies, and were forced to withdraw back to Quebec after incurring one SP of casualties. Throughout all of their effort, though, they inflicted greater casualties upon their English opponents, who themselves lost two SP in the defense of the territory. During this same time period, the English governors of the Middle Atlantic colonies surrendered the territory to the approaching French forces and retreated their troops into New England. The penultimate battle occurred in the Marathas territory in India, as the French also attacked the English there during heavy monsoon rains. This resulted in a crushing defeat for the French, who almost lost their entire army, having lost four of the five SP to the English's loss of only one. Needless to say, the French survivors retreated back to Travancore. The winter battles culminated in a meeting engagement between Prussia and Russia in Poland. Once again, heavy snows impeded progress, and while neither army successfully captured Poland, the heavy snows did allow the Russian army to retire largely intact, while the Prussian army retired to the Duchy of Warsaw with a net change in size of zero, both sides having only lost three SP in the battle. After the slow spring and summer months, the flurry of excitement during the winter amounted to not much more than a wasteful expenditure of precious men and resources, with not much to show for their efforts. Regarding the differences between casting casualties and SP casualties, casting casualties include infantry, cavalry, and artillery casualties during a miniature battle. SP casualties only take into account infantry and cavalry casualties, either rounded up or down depending on the country's level of medical service. Furthermore, SP casualties include those SPs lost during retreat fire on the campaign map. In either case, these numbers do not reflect any gains or losses of SPs during the special events phase. Austria lost 12 castings while inflicting 16 castings on opponents. Strategically, she lost 2 SP while causing 2 SP casualties. England lost 53 castings while inflicting 81, losing 5 SP and causing 7 SP losses. France lost 55 castings, inflicting 31 castings, losing 5 SP and causing 3 SP losses. Prussia lost 51 castings, inflicting 37, losing 4 SP and causing 4 SP losses. Russia lost 37 castings, inflicting 51, losing 3 SP and causing 3 SP losses. Sweden lost 12 castings, inflicting 7, losing 1 SP and causing 1 SP loss. Turkey lost 0 castings, causing 0, lost 0 SP, and caused 0 SP losses. The Jacobites, even though they are a non-player entity, lost 21 casting casualties while inflicting 18. They have lost 2 SP and caused 2 SP casualties. In total, there have been 241 casting casualties, which equates to 12,050 casualties. The total economic loss of 22 SP is equal to 110 tricorn. In the spring of 1741, turn 4 of the campaign, the following special events occur. The Ohio Valley has a sympathetic local ruler. 
This gives France an additional two tricorn during revenue collection, as well as an additional two SP of troops raised there. Dobruja suffers desertion. One SP is removed from the territory, and because this is the only SP in that territory, Turkey loses control there. Northern Russia suffers a famine. This means that Russia suffers a loss of one tricorn in that territory, and no troops may be raised there. Finally, Croatia suffers from unrest. Austria loses one tricorn during revenue collection, and no troops may be raised in that territory. Regarding the Persian front allocation, Turkey must pay nine tricorn. The Jacobite rebellion is still holding on, though they have suffered one battle loss. They do not raise any reinforcements to help out their beleaguered troops, and if they suffer one more loss, the rebellion is permanently crushed. During the revenue collection phase, Austria collects 25 tricorn, England 25 tricorn, France 31 tricorn, Prussia 20 tricorn, Russia 17 tricorn, Sweden 7 tricorn, and Turkey 9 tricorn. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest campaign and battle information.